Hi, welcome to Jamaican Cooking 101. Today we're making potato salad and this is a jazzy potato salad. Potato salad with an attitude, a little bit of style. So let me prep the ingredients, I'll be right back. Welcome back. So I have my ingredients here and let's quickly go through. So we've got a bit of sweet corn, sweet pepper, carrots, a bit of relish, mayonnaise, potatoes, and we have our tools. I have here a pot of water that I'm gonna be adding some salt to and this is where we'll boil the potato. I'm adding a bit of oil just to prevent them from sticking together. So we're gonna allow that to come to a boil and in the meantime, we'll prepare our potatoes. So I have two potatoes here, one sweet and one Irish, Irish potato. So we've selected the Irish potato. Of course, you could use the sweet potato too, but we're going with the Irish potato today and we're gonna quickly peel this one. Now this is our local Irish potato, so big up to those farmers, especially in Manchester and St. Elizabeth. We know how hard it is to go through with farming and we thank you so much for allowing us to have fresh foods on our table. So once we're finished peeling this potato, we're going to put it in some room temperature water and quickly clean up our space. So now it's time for us to cut the potato and place it in the pot of boiling water. So first of all, before we start cutting the potato, we want to get a level surface. We don't want it dancing around on the cutting board. So we have trimmed off a piece. Now we have it sturdy. It's sitting nicely on the cutting board and let's switch knife because that one seem a bit small. So we're going in for just about half of an inch. So we're cutting slices just about half of an inch and then we are going to stack them on top of each other and go in now to cut the squares. So we're cutting them as big chunks and then we're gonna make them smaller. Of course, you can cut them to the size you want. If you prefer having bigger chunks in your potato salad, then you go ahead and cut bigger, bigger squares or dices. But for me, I want mine to be just about half inch on either side. All right. When you have all the pieces in equal sizes and shapes, then you find that they'll all cook together. They'll cook the same time. They'll take the same amount of time to cook. So here we have them neat and tidy. We're placing them in some room temperature water and then we're gonna finish cutting up the others. We're gonna finish cutting up the others and get those in the bowl with the other pieces. Now these are gonna cook quickly because they are in small pieces but let's quickly rinse off the excess starch and then we'll check to see if the water is boiling. All right, so you can drain off the water if you have a colander or you have a strainer or you can just use your hand. <laughs> All right, so we have our potatoes drained and we are checking on the water. It's not boiling just yet. So let's move on to preparing the mayonnaise, the base, and we'll check back on the water. So in this bowl, oh, our water is actually boiling. So let's put the potatoes in and then come back to our mayonnaise mixture. All right, we get all of those pieces in, give it a quick stir and we're gonna be covering. Now, let us quickly move on to the mayonnaise mixture where we'll add a few simple ingredients. Well, we'll go in first with a onion and the onion, you could use a grated onion or you could chop it or if you like, you just use the onion powder. But today I'm going in with some fresh onion and I am going to grate it. You just need about a 
quarter of a teaspoon when the onion is grated it's evenly distributed you don't find any lumps or anything like that and for the kids they have nothing to pick out all right so here we have a quarter teaspoon of grated onion and then we're gonna add some mayonnaise and for this amount of potatoes we're gonna be adding three tablespoons of mayonnaise next we're going to add some citric acid whether it's vinegar or lemon juice i will be using some lemon juice and i'm gonna just squeeze a bit in there hoping that we have just about a teaspoon we need that little bit of tang in it so we have used the lemon juice now for the sweet side of it we're adding just about half teaspoon of granulated sugar and we're gonna get that all mixed in all combined now you could add relish and relish would give you that sweety soury taste sweet tangy taste but um i've added lemon lemon juice and i might just go ahead and add that relish later on so for the purpose of this video, I went ahead and boiled some potatoes, had them drained because I know these would not have been ready in time. So I have these potatoes boiled and drained, I'm going to just quickly combine it with the mayonnaise mixture and I'm going to fold that in, I'm not going to do any rigorous stirring. Um, you could, if you're not using canned carrots, you could place the carrots in to boil with um, the potatoes. I have some carrots already boiled to combine here. So we're going in with the relish after all, and this is just about a teaspoon. It also gives some amount of crunch, so that should jazz it up a bit. We have some fresh diced sweet peppers here, red and green. I didn't have any yellow. We're just gonna work with the red and green and use sweet corn for the yellow. I told you it would be a jazzy potato salad. So we are gonna quickly get this mixed in. And of course, do not mix the life out of it. Just add in these vibrant colors and give it a quick stir and we should be well on our way notice that our vegetables here are adding color and texture and some amount of bite now this could be a complete meal all you need is some bacon or maybe some chicken breast or some flaked fish whatever it is that you like but today we're serving it as a side so i'm not putting any protein in I'm going to add the sweet pepper on top just for a bit of garnish. Now, sweet potatoes could have been used and that would give you a yellow effect dependent on what nature the sweet potato is because you know you have white sweet potato and yellow ones. But of course, that's up to you. You can substitute these potatoes for the sweet potato ones. All right, so now I am ready to serve up but of course you could cover this and place it in the refrigerator so that it becomes a bit more chilled and it firms up a little. Okay, so I'm going to be using some lettuce cups to serve up this potato salad. And I have already de-leafed these and I'm drying them before using them. Just use a paper towel and tap them so that it's clears away any excess liquid, any excess water. And of course, I have not shredded them, so I have a bit of cup-like effect so that we can spoon the salad into it. All right, if you wanted, you could just serve it up in a bowl or you could put it to the side of a plate. But today I'm gonna show you two different ways that I would serve these up. I'm using an ice cream scoop to just quickly scoop the, the potato salad into the lettuce cups. And if you don't have an ice cream scoop, hello, go right ahead and use your normal spoon. All right, just make sure you have enough in the lettuce cups and it's not flowing over. And these could be used as appetizers or it could be served up as a side dish, an accompaniment to a protein dish. All right. The plate looks a little empty, 
So I'm going to try and get another lettuce cup and fill it up with some of our jazzy potato salad. All right. I can't use the ice cream scoop, so I'm going in with a smaller spoon, with my measuring spoon, and then we are ready to serve up. Okay. As I said, you could do this potato salad long in advance, maybe in the morning, and you put it in the refrigerator to chill, right? So that when you're serving it up, it is cold and good. All right, so here we have it served up two different ways, as a main salad or as an appetizer. This is quick and easy, and chances are you have all these ingredients at home. So here we have it jazzy potato salad thank you so much for watching jamaican cooking 101